Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. <clears throat> My name is Tom, and in today's video, we have a new first look video for you. It is a first look at Martin Masterson's Southwestern Expressways Reading to Pusey Electric. Now, the overhead wiring has been done on a separate version of the route, and it covers the OHLE between Reading and Newbury. Um, obviously, the rest of the route is um, in here as well. Um, it's a separate route that runs alongside the original. Southwestern Expressways extension for Martin, so it doesn't overwrite anything. So you have two side by side routes. So, what we're going to do, we're going to have a drive of one of the scenarios that comes with the route. Um, we're going to have a look at the OHLE and just have a general talk about the route, anything new, what you need to know, all your requirements, and stuff like that. So, we are out at Reading at the minute, so I'm just going to quickly set up our train. We are on the class 387 over here. We're going to set up and then we'll have a quick look around the station and then we'll get ourselves on our on our way. Yeah, doors open. So welcome aboard the 1114 Great Western Railway Service to Newbury. This service will call at Reading West, Field, Oldermaston, Midgham, Thatcham, Newbury Racecourse and Newbury. Get the lights on. Put the shoe up. Pantograph up. There we go. We can hear the change over there. Where the, uh, the HVAC comes back on again. Right, so we're a four car unit. Doors are open. We're not due off here till 14 past. The doors might shut early, but just make sure we don't uh, go to all the time that we are meant to do. See, there's an 800 just speeding off into the distance over there. First looks at the OHLE are absolutely fantastic. It's Martin's very first overhead wiring job on a routing train sim. And from what you can see, it's very neatly done. It uses Alan Thompson Sims overhead wiring catenary kit, um, which was made by Speedy Pete, which is available from Alan Thompson Sim. Uh, the pack for the OHLE is uh, 9 dollars uh, I think it's 4 dollars for subscribers. Uh, the model um, for Reading as well, obviously, is a Just Trains one, so everything actually fits really, really nicely around the model, over wiring wise. Nothing fouls the actual station. Everything goes through as it should. It's really good. So it's a really nice job so far. We'll get back into our train, and we're going to get ready for our departure in 10 seconds' time. I'm going to go with some changes and bits and pieces as well very shortly. Uh, we'll get to our first stop first, which is Reading West. So I'm going to stop talking for a minute and we'll let you enjoy the uh, run up to Reading West. So we're just approaching Reading West now, we're on Reading Curve, um, so the line obviously from the Great Western Main Line from Didcot comes in on the right hand side here. Don't think it's served by passenger services that curve, I think it's for freight use. I've got my rail atlas out as well, so I'll double check that one in a second. Reading West. 
We're on the class 377 sound pack with the South London Lions 377 today. Um, we haven't got, there's no skin available, I don't think, for the actual AP enhancement pack yet. So, unfortunately, we're on the older version. Uh, this is an, a Super Albs reskin as well, uh, which we are using for this video. This is South Coat Junction, so services would go to the left towards Basingstoke and the south. We take the route to the right, which takes us towards Newbury. So we're going to go over some requirements, so for the route to run you need, as a base route, you most vitally need is the South Western Expressways route, uh, without that this route will not run. Um, you need also the JT Newcastle Edinburgh route, Western Main Lines, Bristol to Cardiff which is a um, now discontinued route at the moment unfortunately, um, whether that will come back or not in the future to steam, not too sure. You also need uh, Bristol to Exeter from um, Strange, you can get that off uh, steam or uh, just trains website, I think both should work to be honest. Uh, the same files and that. Price and mainline, you also need Riviera Line, Oxford to Paddington, North Somerset, the VP Grass Pack, the ATS, uh, the ATS sorry, uh, OHLE Pack, UK Train Scene Freeware, and Asset Packs, and also the Chris Trains NS Station Object Scenery Pack, but that is a free pack. All links are in the description for the um, requirements. Next stop will be Field in 0.7 of a mile. I love the detail at the points of the way. All the return wires and um, everything. Really nice to see. It's done a very, very good job of all the knitting and stuff. All the overlaps and stuff as well. Nicely done.
Our next stop will be Aldermaston in three and a half miles. Uh, next up, I'm going to go through some changes with the route before we uh, get ourselves to Aldermaston. Uh, so I've got uh, noted down some changes for Martin, um, which will be uh, should be seen on the route. Uh, so mainly the big the big thing is obviously the overhead wiring pack, which is um, laid bef uh, between east of Reading all the way down to Newbury. Um, as highly detailed as possibly uh, can be done. Um, as you can see, it's really really nice. Um, we also have check changes. So north side of Reading, uh, cosmetic stuff really, nothing really to um, do with the route as such. It's just there for visuals when you come out of Reading really. Things the yards and stuff like that mainly. Um, also, signal cages have been fitted to the uh, post signals at Reading, so obviously they um, would protect the workforce if they're up uh, near the wiring and stuff like that. Uh, most of the bridges have been reworked for extra height, so this enables the wiring to go under the bridge without fouling any of the uh, the structures. Um, also, platforms have been extended at Reading, uh, Reading West and Oldermaston. This is to allow for longer trains to stop in the platforms, so that trains aren't hanging outside the back or front or wherever. Uh, the disused track at Hungerford has now been removed, and also a few small steam changes have taken place up beyond, uh, like on various places on the routes. So those are the bits and pieces uh, change-wise that you need to know. I'm going to stop doing any, I'm going to stop the waffling, I'm going to let you enjoy the next section up to Aldermaston where I will come back in, so sit back and enjoy guys. So this is Old Maston. So Newbury Bay Free is where we are heading today. So we're probably about, I'd say about halfway of the run up to uh, Newbury now, I'm just looking at how many miles, yeah about halfway, it's 16.9 miles um, journey time, well journey distance shall I say, about half hour run, if that. Next stop will be Midgham and that is in 1.95 miles.
So Martin's first version of the route came out around about, I think it was like December or something like that last uh, year in 2019. Um, overall, very popular route. Um, I've seen plenty of scenarios being made for it as well by various scenario creators. So I look forward to seeing other bits for this one as well, um, for the more modern side of things. Be nice to see. We just need a very nice snazzy 800 now, really, don't we? The one we've got at the minute is not very good. It's a bit, a bit lacking. So hopefully the Major Wells one uh, will see light of day one day very soon um, to give us proper operation um, on this bit with that as well. We could do like the switch over as well uh, between diesel and electric. There is also signage as well, it um, tells you between the, like, the change of uh, motive power um, and pantograph up and down as well as you get towards the last stop before the overreachally comes to an end, which is um, I think between like Newbie Racecourt, I think just before Newbie Racecourt to be honest. We'll show them as we get past them. This is Mitchum. One thing that's annoying about this 387 is because the the power handle is very very sensitive. I have to press it a little bit; and it goes straight through to 100. So hopefully we get a um, an APP version of this uh, livery at some point very soon. And let's stop his him in two and a half miles. Just under four, uh, four point nine nine miles left now till we get to our last stop at Newbury. Uh, Thatcham is our next station. I think then it's Newbury Racecourse and then on to Newbury.
this is Thatcham. So we've got Newbury Racecourse and Newbury left on this journey. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the run though, um, as much as I am. It's really, really nice. I see all the overhead wiring done. I think Martin's been working on this virtually since um, just after the release of his original version as well, so he's been hard at work, especially right during lockdown and stuff as well, he's been at this. Newbie race course is 8 point, uh, not 8.83 uh, sorry, miles away. <laughs> A little bit mixed up there. The route itself is in its very late stages now on the development side also. Uh, the route's release will be seen simultaneously over the uh, two websites between Vulcan Productions and On Track Simulation. Um, VP had it first um, for the version 1 um, original route that came out um, to Martin's uh, uploaded it there, which is only right as well as it was the first hoster. Um, he's asked and approached us at On Track Simulation if we would host um, also, so it was very, very kind of him to ask us. and. Uh, look forward to having it on our website as well um, obviously it's both sites free to download from straight in there straight to download it's no messing around so totally up to your preference as well where you decide to download from the description currently will hold the original route um, download but um, when the new version goes live we will add that into the description um, so you have the bo there's both links in there so you can download both routes um, whichever choice you want to do So we're just approaching Newbury Racecourse, we've got some gallows at the minute, we're waiting for a service to cross over before we actually get into the bay platform at Nor uh, Newbury as well, say so normal Newbury, Newbury, um, which is just a little bit further beyond the uh, racecourse platforms. So the signs I mentioned before, so you can see there, um, that means diesel power onto the left hand lines there, I think it was narrowed to the left there. Um, there's three different signs, obviously the one that I mentioned first of all was uh, change of traction, uh, motive power, so diesel or electric, pantograph up and pantograph down signs. All three have been added in, into this uh, route as well, the right places. We should have the road in a minute, now that's come through. So our next stop is Newbury Bay 3, so Bay Platform is uh, number 3. So we're down to 40 mile now in a few moments, then down to a 25 uh, as well.
40 for the first crossover, then 25 into the bay. I'm going to get myself down to 25 now because it changes quite soon. Again, lovely work with the knitting around here. You can see all the different um, like lines and stuff separating. Really nice. It's not messy either. It's all really tidily done. Quite a professional job, really. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, run, guys. We've been Train Sim TV, and I've been Tom. Um, this has been the Southwest Expressways Reading to Pusey Electrified um, electrification between Reading and Newbury. This is the scenario that comes with the route, so you'll be able to play this uh, once the route's out as well. Don't forget you can like, share, subscribe, leave any feedback, whether it's to do with our YouTube channel or whether it's to do with the actual route. Um, we can pass any information over to Martin as well um, if anyone's spotted anything that we may have or if you've seen something that we might have not picked up on. Um, this is Newbury as well. Don't forget you can uh, catch our Twitch channel um, between... On a Tuesday and a th oh yeah Tuesday and Saturday sorry uh, Mark's doing the streams at the minute on Saturdays um, Tuesday streams aren't actually taking place at the minute as scheduled but they might occasionally happen but other than that um, at the minute Saturdays are with Mark um, I'll be back from my time out very soon um, once everything's after the baby and stuff like that but uh, thank you very much for joining um, Mark's streams as well guys he appreciates it, all uh, the support as well this is quite new to doing proper streams that's uh, like how we do them so I'm gonna leave you here guys this is a uh, Newbury don't forget look out on the on track simulation or VP page obviously when the route gets released um, you will be able to download it there keep checking back on the link as well because we'll once the route's updated and now we'll put the link into our description um, currently the old original version is in the link for now massive thanks for joining guys I hope you've enjoyed it Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.